Well, uh, this is my new aquarium here, Chia Racha. And what's this tube that goes down up underneath of it to this blue thing? If you notice, it's making bubbles. That's not oxygen, folks. That is carbon dioxide, pure carbon dioxide. Kill this light so there's no reflection. You can see there's that plant. It's going to suck in that carbon dioxide. I got it going right up into the middle of it. Or it can use it to enhance itself and grow. Here's my homemade do-it-yourself carbon, di uh, carbon dioxide reactor for a, for a planted tank. I discovered the instructions on the internet. Basically it's a Powerade bottle with a tube that runs down to this air stone. Now, that little blue thing is a one-way valve. It just means air and water can only go one way through the tank. Uh, that way, not that way. Which means that when this thing isn't generating pressure, water will come back up into the tube. And you don't want it to go past here and then there. So, that's what that valve does is stop that from happening. Now, where the tube goes through, it's not very clear, but I do have some silicone sealant. Both under and over on the underside and overside of this lid where the tube runs through. I got the tube cut at a 45 degree angle right just past the entrance the, that it goes through there. And in this bottle, I have the stuff that makes carbon dioxide that I call water, sugar, and yeast with a little bit of baking soda to make sure it stays suspended. Uh, it, the, the yeast consumes the sugar. Uh, ferments the sugar, uh, which produces carbon dioxide while it makes alcohol. Uh, that carbon dioxide then goes into the fish tank where it can crank the CO2 up into that plant where we'll use it to, uh, while it photosynthesizes, it'll pull in that CO2 and use it to grow. Uh, I'm hoping to get some uh, hardcore growth out of this stuff. I've been told it can grow up to three inches a day. Uh, I have two other fish tanks that I'd like to fill it, uh, put this plant in, but I need this plant to grow first, as in fill this tank up, hurry up and get that done, and then I can move on to putting some of the other two tanks. So I'm doing everything I can to encourage its growth. I got a little uh, fertilizer up in the filter. I need to get some water soluble iron and then it should go to town and grow. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the fish aren't affected by it while it photosynthesizes. Uh, at night, when the plant's not photosynthesizing, there's no light, then it could possibly lead to a CO2 buildup that's harmful to the fish. However, I've, been, I've read online that if you have some good filtration, uh, moving the water on top, which I do, uh, then that's not really an issue. So, uh, and it should, if it builds up and uh, throughout the water a little bit, i got a couple other plants that can uh, help pull it in too, so uh, I'm hoping it'll do them all some good, not just that one plant. However, this one plant here, the big one on top, is the one I'm really trying to get it to grow, get to grow and fill this tank. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, signing off.